sand towels, perhaps the most widely read of all popular literature in Australia. And as the name implies, these sweet wrappers I'm holding here carry the biographies of film and pop stars. Let's look into the lucky dip and see who we have. There we are. Um, Normie Rowe, born on the 1st of February 1947, is one of Australia's most exciting performers with many awards to his credit, including two gold records for K Sarah Sarah, now has been awarded recording contracts in England and America, records for Sunshine in Australia, his favourite sport is swimming, likes casual dress and plays guitar and harmonica. Well now, who's the man who writes these? Well, uh, let's go into the sweet factory behind me and find out the story. Mr. Bruce Barr, you've been composing fan towel wrappers for 25 years now. Where do you get your information for the biographies? Some years ago, we obtained them from America from the various film companies. Out of latter, the last 12 months, we've been getting them from the local Australian stars, and those have been incorporated in our fan tales, both the biographies and the photographs on the back of the packets. Now, I notice that you've been using a lot more local stars. Is this a deliberate policy on your part? Yes, we find that local stars are more popular than overseas stars, especially amongst the teenagers. Do you consider yourself an expert on film stars and pop stars? I would not consider myself an expert, but uh, one does become interested going through the various uh, stars and finding out about them. But uh, it's quite captivating, actually. Now, tell me, how often do you revise these biographies? Is there any chance of um, a, a sweet wrapper going out with someone who's dead? Uh, yes, it has done in the past, especially with these wrappers. We print many, many tons of this paper, and naturally it can't be discarded if someone does happen to die suddenly, but we obliterate it as soon as possible. How do you decide when to drop a film star from the, the wrappers on, on popularity? Uh, quite a number of the film companies supply us with their they're modern, up-and-coming stars, and oftentimes we go amongst our own staff here and we'll take a survey and put the 50 or 60 stars and ask them to mark the ones they think most popular. We're guided by our younger staff in the organisation. One annoying thing I've noticed on the packet is you quite often only have half a biography. I mean, is this a deliberate policy on your part? No, well, they're made so that you must get one full biography. Perhaps you might get one and a half if you're lucky. Have you any idea who the most popular group is at the moment from all this? Uh, yes, I would say um, Normie Rowe, Johnny O'Keefe, Nolene Batley, Ray Brown, Lynn Fletcher. They're all popular stars. Well, you've been doing this a long time, haven't you? Now, is this a sort of, is there any frustrated sort of writer within you? Uh, no, uh, the film companies, if you ask them, they give you a long, uh, say three filled cap pages with regard to a star, well naturally you have to cut that down to about 40 or 50 words. It's rather difficult at times, but you cut out all the uh, bits and pieces that you don't say who they're married to, for example, uh, because that could be outdated within the next three months.